Have you ever done a color fill and it looks like dog shit? Look at all this crap. It looks shitty. There's like holes. There's holes in it. You put a hole in it. You put a hole in your drawing. You have crusty fills. Hey, have you ever color filled something and then there's a big crusty hole in it and it looks bad and then you're embarrassed and you're humiliated and you don't want to go outside anymore? There's a way to solve this without spending a bunch of time cleaning it. Actually, it's actually really easy and I'm surprised none of you guys know this or it's honestly kind of embarrassing. Most people don't know this. It's like cringe. It's kind of cringe. What you need to do is you need to find a program, not Procreate, not Sci, unfortunately, but any program that has under blur has the median filter. Photoshop has median, a bunch of other programs have median. It's usually under the blur filters. What you're going to do is you're going to duplicate your layer because, you know, even if even if there wasn't a reason for this, just be just don't don't be an idiot. Don't don't fucking don't destroy. What the why am I getting if you're going to listen? Just don't be an idiot. Always don't permanently destroy your art when you're doing things if you don't know what you're doing and you don't so you're here watching a youtube video by moron so what you do is you take the um you go over here and then uh, you duplicate the layer and then uh then you go to the filter blur and then you'll find median and then don't put put don't put don't put it too high don't you're gonna want to put it like 30 or 60 that's wrong the way median works is the, the lower you use it, the better. You use the lowest setting possible. I usually use three or maybe two. And you do it like a few times. You'll see what, ha what happens is it'll just like take out all the edges. It'll make everything all blurred up, all artifacted. You'll lose all the sharpness and the shapes. So you just keep it at three or three or two or four maybe tops and do it like two or three times. And then, uh, and then what you're gonna do is um, you're, you're gonna you're gonna look at your drawing and you're gonna see hey look at that all those holes are gone they're all gone now I fixed it but then it does slow down not really um, because you'll notice you kind of lose the sharpness on the edges here's the last little trick here's a little trickaroo for those who you know anyone who's clicked out already they're missing out on the, the final the final aspects is what you do is you actually take that layer you duplicated and you put it behind your original layer. Now, actually, it covers all the little holes and you maintain the actual sharpness of your original bucket fill. So if you're bucket filling out there and it's all grungy and scrungy, what you do is what I just said. Duplicate, median, shove it in the back. All your coloring woes are gone for good.